Um, but let's take a talk about this quality control and hype purchase. This is like I've been telling y'all, K-pop is taking over the world, and this is this has got people's attention now because they purchased a black label. But when nobody talking about it when they because hype purchased Scooter Bronze label, um, Ithaca Holdings, which was you know one of the biggest independent label they had, Justin Bieber under management, Ariana Grande. Taylor Swift's first couple albums, Big Machine. Mm-hmm. Big, uh, Big Machine, Machine was the company that owned, you know, that signed Taylor Swift and had all those um, big albums. So Taylor Swift had to re-record, you know, that music. Taylor's but version. Now Hype owns, you know, those original, um, the original music. So that was his first big purchase was uh, buying now Scooter Braun. So Scooter Braun works for Hype now. He runs the North America uh, Hype division. Um, and they just purchased quality control music for three hundred uh, million dollars, which they did two hundred fifty million in cash, and then like fifty million in stocks and stuff. But this is like a huge. This this should wake everybody up. I think it's already too late because hype has too much money, which is courtesy of BTS. This goes back to um to to BTS because hype, which was big hit. Um, when they first started, they signed BTS and then, you know, they blew up BTS took over the world. Yeah. Yeah. And then they formed, they kind of broke up their company and formed hype and under hype. Um, they have all these different labels, which they've been buying up, um, other K-pop labels like left and right. So I think now they're the biggest record company in the world. I mean, if you check out their umbrella and especially thanks to BTS, cause BTS has made hundreds of probably a billion dollars Billions. now. Yeah, billions, which is why they're able to do what they do. I mean, basically, BTS bought, you know, quality control, basically, what you can say. Not technically, but because of BTS success, they was able to, you know, raise hundreds of millions of dollars. And then, you know, BTS made them billions of dollars. So this is just, I'm trying to tell you how powerful and what K-pop is doing. And what they've done is they, you know, went back to the 80s and the 90s and they're just using the same a music model that we did, you know, back in the day where MTV and BT and VH1 was all popping. They basically still have an MTV who caters to music videos and performances and a BET and all that, which America doesn't. You can't look at a certain pop line in America to find, you know, the hottest artist like you would back in the day. You could watch MTV and, and discover artists and, you know, BT versus now you can, you have to do a search on YouTube or, you know, whatever, but artists ain't getting the push like they are in K-pop. They just took over, you know, old America's music model and really profited off of it. You know, mm-hmm. hundreds of millions and billions of dollars. All in one little city, South Korea, Seoul. But uh, your rebuttal to K-pop dominating and buying uh, quality control during Black History Month. You know, I'm King Conspiracy around this motherfucker, so... When I see that, we already know they tied in with certain people. It's uh, see, this is why quality control don't need to be selling to them, especially it's too late selling to them with with school with school Brian over there, because you never know what people' agenda is, and you know when you, it's not about money at the end of the day. It's about having a power, and now we can see why Offset not messing with them. Because now QC and P just made it a hundred times harder for any of them artists ever to get there. So yep. now say you, you my, you my homie. We we came in this game together. I put you on necessarily. You, mm-hmm. you, uh, the back of my group putting this whole thing together. I could come to you like, bro, I'm trying to be a boss. Can you give me my masters back? Nope. Now you definitely can't now. Nah, now, you, nah, yeah. now you can't even you can't even negotiate. It's not in my hands no more. Go talk to them. Mm-hmm. So now you just you just that was selfish, bro. That was selfish. Now there's no way ever, little baby. They got to start from scratch, start from zero. <laughs> they they have to offset. Can't get ain't never getting his masters back. It's over. And offset, if you think you finna go against Hob and the money they got to get your masters, it's it over. Up. Like it's over, bro. It's a wrap. Does he got to re-record everything? You got to do like got, Taylor Swift. He got to do ten years. He got to. He got to mm-hmm. be out for ten years. And the it, problem is they they can't the, getting takeoff stems is gonna be a who. 
can't just do them all without yeah. takeoff. Yeah, it's over. Like, and you got to be cool with Qua- and another thing. Scooter Braun manages Quavo now. So that's mm. a little thing that no that nobody knows. So Scooter Braun manages Quavo. So he under hype anyway. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of it's kind of iffy. It's kind of iffy. Offset the only one over there. Takeoff gone. Offset over there. QCP and Quavo is over there with Hob. That's also cool with Jay Prince now, who talking saying Quavo cool, but Offset. It's some weird stuff going on. But I just want to connect them dots. <laughs> so y'all think that is beneficial then? Like now knowing what they're doing for an artist, is it really that beneficial to for, be to go onto a label? For rap artists, I don't know because this is a unique. You know, little babies on the same label as BTS. Like that's mm-hmm. kind of crazy because. Knowing the K-pop industry, they're about like pushing positivity and being all polite and, you know, the girls being girly and the the guys kind of being a little girly, too. But, you know, <laughs> hovering that line, you know what I'm saying? So to to have these I like, I don't know what they're going to do with hardcore rappers, you know? Yeah, they don't know what to do. K-pop, you know, fans are listening to it, but not in public like that. I mean, you know, be, let's be honest, like South Korea, they idolize like white people you know what i'm saying it's still kind of a thing you know what i mean so for them to i don't know how they're gonna you know i don't know what hype's plan is to do like with the little baby or amigos or you know whoever it's definitely going to be interesting to see how they do that because they can't put them on the south korea k-pop shows like you know that's they don't the, if the entertainment aspect isn't there they don't have like six seven members who are dancing and entertaining you on stage you know Nobody wants to see a rapper perform week in, week out. You know what I'm saying on that type of um, on type of music show. So I don't know how they're gonna cross promote it or what they're gonna do. Thanks for watching. We just hit that 11k, so we're on our way to 12. So make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time. <laughs>